हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी डू सब्सक्राइब इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी इफ यू हैव अन डन इट येट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम विच से दैट व्हेन द 0.05 केजी बॉडी इन द पोजीशन शोन द लीनियर स्प्रिंग इज स्ट्रेच स्ट्रेच 10 एमएम डिटरमिन द फोर्स पी रिक्वायर्ड टू ब्रेक कांटेक्ट एट सी कंप्लीट सॉल्यूशन फॉर ए इंक्लूडिंग द इफेक्ट्स ऑफ द वेट एंड बी नेगलेक्टिंग द वेट so we are given this t shaped body and it has a mass of 0.05 kg and we have to determine this force p in order to break this contact at this point c so at point o we have the pin support so we will have the o x reaction let's say let's say that this is our positive x and y direction so this is o x and here we will have o y reaction and at point b we have the spring force so we will have the spring force which is going to act like this this is the spring force and at point c we will have the normal force at c and in the first case we have to include the effects of the weight and in b we have to neglect the weight so as we can see that uh, this t shaped body is symmetrical about this line so this means that the weight of this uh, body is going to act along this line so let's say that the weight is acting somewhere here since the the center of this body the geometric center of this body will lie on this symmetric symmetric line so the weight is going to act along this line the line of action of the weight is going to pass through this line so this weight is this weight is 0.05 into 9.81 but let me write it as w right so now we we are we want to find this p for which this and c will become zero right so if i apply the summation of forces uh, the summation of the moment about point o equals to zero and if we assume that the counter clockwise moment is positive so as we can see that this p is going to produce the counter clockwise moment so i will write p and the perpendicular distance of this p from that point o is 60 plus 60 so this is 120 mm so i will multiply this with 120 and it is producing the counter clockwise moment so we have to write plus then this weight is producing the counter clockwise moment so again i will write plus weight and the perpendicular distance of this weight that is the moment arm is 60 mm i will multiply this with 60 and then the spring force is going to produce the clockwise moment so i will write minus the spring force and the moment arm of the spring force from that point o is 40 mm so i have to multiply this with 40 and then this nc is going to produce the counter clockwise moment so i will write plus and c and the perpendicular distance or the moment arm of this nc from that point o is 40 plus 40 so this is 80 and this will be equal to 0 now the spring force is given the k is given so we can write that the spring force is now it is said that the spring is stretched to a length of 10 mm and the k is given in newton per meter so we have to convert this into newton per mm since uh, we are given the dimensions in mm so either we have to convert these dimensions into mm or either we have to convert this k value into uh and a newton per mm so first i will convert this k value which is 1750 newton per meter and 1 meter is 1000 mm so this will give us k equals to 1.750 newton per mm now we can find the spring force so the spring force is k that k is 1.75 newton per mm and the spring is stretched to a length of 10 mm so i will multiply this with 10 so 1.75 into 10 this gives us 17.5 and this this is this is in mm so mm will cancel out and we will be left with newton so this is the spring force in newtons so now if i put all those values in this equation 
and in the problem it is said that uh, determine the force P required to break contact at C. So, when the contact is breaked with, uh, with this support at C, so and C will become 0 right. So, there will be no reaction force on this body. So, when there is no contact and C will be equal to 0. So, if and C is equal to 0, this term will be equal to 0. So, now we left with this equation, this is 120 P plus 60 into weight minus 40 F S, this is equal to 0. So, this is our main equation now for part A, when including the weight, including the effect of the weight. So, from this we can write that 120 P plus 60 W minus 40 F S, this is equal to 0 and we want to find that P. So, 120 P will be equal to minus 60 W plus 40 F S and now we need we in the weight is 0 0.05 into 9.81. So, let me write that this is 60 W. So, 0 0.05 into 9.81 plus 40 into the spring force which is 17.5 and if we divide both sides by 120, so we will get that P value for breaking the contact with that point C. So, this is a minus 60 into 0 0.05 into 9.81 plus 40 into 17.5 divided by 120. So, this gives us P equals to 5.588. So, P equals to 5.588 Newton. So, this much force is required to break the contact at that point C when including the effect of the weight. Now, in part B, we, we, we are going to neglect the effect of the weight. So, again we have the same equation. So, this is 120 P plus 60 W minus 40 F S, this is equal to 0, but we are neglecting the effect of the weight. So, the weight will become 0. So, this will become 0. So, we will be left with 120 P minus 40 F S equals to 0 and then we can write that 120 P is equal to 40 F S and P will be equal to 40 into F S, F S is 17.5 divided by 120. So, this is that P. This is 40 into 17.5 divided by 120. So, this gives us 5.833. This is 5.833 Newton. So, then if the effect of the weight is not going to be considered, then the p value uh, required for losing the contact at that point C is 5.833 Newtons. So, this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope this will help in your learning. Do subscribe my channel for the solution of such more problems.